There's a new book that's been banned and arguably this is the cutest book that's been banned out of all the books. This one is cute, is the cutest. It's a new book ban or should I say a Mew book ban. I wrote that down for myself to say and then I forgot to say it. It's a Mew book ban because it's called the itty bitty kitty corn. That's what this book is called, itty bitty kitty corn. And a school in Texas has successfully challenged the book and gotten it removed. The author is Shannon Hale and she said her inspiration was her children. Um, here's the plot, see if you get triggered. Uh, from, best spelling, from best selling superstar duo Shannon Hale and uh, Luyan Pham comes a delightful kitty and unicorn story that celebrates the magic of friendship and being exactly who you wanna be. Kitty thinks she might be a unicorn. She feels so perfectly unicorny. Nay, says Kitty, but when unicorn clop, clop, clops over, sweeping his magnificent tail and neighing a mighty neigh, Kitty feels no bigger than a ball of lint. Can this unlikely pair embrace who they are and truly see one another? <gasps> Ban it! <laughs> I mean, if anyone is conservative, I should have done a trigger warning for that, guys. I'm really sorry. I apologize. I know you guys are fragile. Um, so that was enough for actually the school board to ban it. Earlier this year, a member of the Katy Independent School District Board of Education in Texas flagged the book as containing sexually suggestive material, deeming it out of compliance with Texas law HB 900. The law prohibits possession, acquisition, and the purchase of books rated sexually explicit materials by schools and permits their exclusion. How, how um, the school district uh, has actually halted all access to new library books for this next year until they can successfully make sure that no little kitties think they're unicorns and like nothing's too sexually suggestive. Um, what does the author think of this? Shannon Hales, one of the co-authors said, I'm not sure where the suggestive part came in. I ne I've never been able to get anybody to tell me what I was in reference to. Another thing they objected to was using they as a singular pronoun, which is also not in the book. They was only ever used for multiple characters. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it wasn't there. So this was a misreading, somebody who has just misread this book. You can't even read a children's book, okay? You ding dongs, as John would say. But take a look, Senator, what do you think of this? Let's, let's, let's put up this uh, little image from it, sexually suggestive. It's, let's read it, Kitty thinks she might be a unicorn. A horn sits atop her fuzzy head, pointing up, up, up to the sky. She feels so perfectly unicorny. Look at me, says Kitty. It's a little Kitty looking in the mirror, she's a unicorn. Next page, nay, says Kitty, nay, nay. She sticks her pink nose in their ears in case they didn't hear. Nay, you're a cat, said Parakeet, and that's that, said Gecko. Oh, and I'm sure, I mean, I can't wait to find out what happens, but uh, <laughs> Senator, I kind of know why, I know why they're banning this, but I maybe you, maybe you want to jump in here. No, I want to hear, it. look, it's, it's, don't you see it, Francesca, it's sex written <laughs> all over this book. I mean, really. A pink kitty, wow. Wants to be a unicorn, that is sexy. How <laughs> dare that kitty. Want to be a uniform? That's sexy. Got sex is 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 is, is reeking with sex. It will definitely harm children. Knowing yeah. that a kitty wants to grow up and become a uniform or unicorn. These fools. I mean, I, I keep it PG. They crazy as hell. <laughs> Loonier than a tune. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not a horn. That's a vibrator, y'all. Can't you see it? No. Okay. Did I make that up? Fine. Was it? Blah. Like. Okay. First of all, here's my. Uh, putting on my transphobe glasses, here's what I'll read into. A kitty wants to identify as something that she's not biologically and also isn't real, a unicorn. So obviously the kitty's trans and no child who's trans should ever be supported. Like. Senator, these are kids Ooh. books. You know, a lot of crazy stuff goes down in kids books that isn't real. Oh, I know. Rumpelstiltskin and yeah. Little Red Riding Hood, all that stuff, all that provocative stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming through the kids books. I'm, t I'm telling you, Francesca, the world is upside all the way down. And these people have nothing else better to do than to make up. So they ain't got no real work to do, Francesca. 
but just to make up stuff. I bet you the same people who want to ban this book do not believe that a mermaid could be black. Yeah, exactly. That's them people. Those are them same folks. No, these are no exactly. This is the same people. Like, mermaids are white. Mermaids white. aren't real, homie. Like, like let's start there. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? No, this is just again. I think that when you said people, why, why don't you have anything better to do, guys? It's almost Halloween. Make a costume for your precious kid, who uh, and, and let them let them go out and trick or treat by themselves alone, and maybe never come back. You know, find another family that's like chiller or whatever. But like, seriously, like. Facebook Sauvignon Blanc moms, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are y'all doing? Get back into crochet, read a book. What happened to the bodice busters? Daniel Steele, let's do this. Stop being concerned with books about kitties and unicorns in your kids' libraries. Get a All life, right. get a life. Get a life, Jesus. literally get a life. Get a life. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.